Good YouTube, it's your boy Money Mark J. As I promised, I have a new project I'm going to be working on. This is my 55 gallon. Um, I've had this tank, man, ever since probably like the beginning of this year, just sitting in my garage. Um, as you can see, it's sitting on a stand. Just got the stand yesterday off of Craigslist for like 40 bucks can't beat that. Um, I was looking for a lot of stands online at my local fish shops. The cheapest I found brand new was like 200 bucks. Um, and they were a lot shorter. This guy is probably like three and a half, four feet tall to stand. Um, so if you don't know, this is my living room. And that's my other tank, the 150 reef. Uh, mixed reef. This is going to be my SPS and LPS tank. Um, this is going to be part one of many parts that I'm going to be making. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot. The first, first thing I'm going to do to this tank is probably take off the blue paint. I painted it blue, but I'm going to try something new. I want to paint it black. See how black does. Um, just because of the fact that I've seen some tanks with a black background with the metal highlights. With certain SPS and LPS corals and, and the, the, the corals pop off pretty nice. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully that works good. Um, give me your feedback on that. If you guys like black or blue. Why you do, why you don't. Um, like I said, I've seen the blue on my 150, which I, I painted myself also. Uh, which is good, but I want to do something different. My living room is a lot of black. It's involved in it, so I might paint that black. Um, I'm going to be painting the stand, redoing the stand, hanging metal highlights from the ceiling. Um, plumbing everything, running the, um, buying a new uh, refugium, setting it up, putting the pump to it, hooking everything up, so from step A to Z, plus adding coils in the tank, so bear with me, it's going to be a long trip, but uh, we'll get through it, please give me your info, uh, what you guys think, subscribe, holler at me, and we'll get it underway, so this is part one of the 55 gallon SPS tank. As you guys can see, there's nothing in it. This looks boring, ugly. We're gonna hook this up though. So, I'll let y'all later. One.